Yo, what's up? So this new celestial anomaly thing, it's a pay to win event, straight up. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. You need the new espers to be able to compete because this time it's different from the trials. You don't get a free trial version of Mateo to use in this um, event. So you summon for him and compete or you don't summon for him and you just can't compete. So before I get into the boss, these um, floors, it's not that difficult. The boss stage is kind of difficult but um, on manual teams you can clear it and once you get the buffs it's going to be easier to, for you to clear it but basically for the non-boss stages um, I'll just show you what team I use. Okay so for the non-boss stages for like 1 to 4 and then 6 to, ni six to 9 this is the team that I use. Um, Embla makes it faster but you don't hit, need her because on the non-boss floors there's no turn count so you can just go full control if you don't have, have an Embla um, this team that I'm running it's on full auto you can clear it within two to three minutes um, just go full auto with this team and it works just fine but if you don't have an Embla you can go something more control more safe uh, maybe you run an era instead and maybe one more uh, controller anyone maybe a Jungman uh, Jiangman works as well. So yeah, the non-boss stages is not a problem. You can just go full control because there's no, no turn limit. You can just go full control and just auto it. But the problem is the boss floors. I think my yeah my team for the boss floors I use this team. Um, R2 Yunchuan Ahmed is very good because he's one of the imprisoners. He he can lock on the boss faster because there's a mechanic where the imprisoner units will do additional one uh, lock on debuff so Ahmed's S1 does 6 of the debuff and then Lu Yi is here because his S1 does 3 and then his S3 does 9 Yun Chuan obviously because he follows up um, only bring him if you have him at R2 if you don't then don't bring him Li Guang is a Imprisoner Esper as well. Gabriel for some survivability. The defense up and immunity is very good for her. And she also has multi hits on every everything. So that's the team that I use to climb the um, the tower. You want to climb the tower as, f as soon as possible. So in five days. Yeah, in five days you definitely want to to the higher floors ex as soon as possible. Because once you clear the floor, you get more... AFK rewards over time and what this AFK rewards does is they give you this spring essence that you can level up on your leader skill or your um, talent trees this time this thing is completely RNG based um, you need to get lucky whether you get them or not um, you get them from the AFK rewards you randomly get one of these uh, sigils and then you can level them up this is how I did it. I don't think it matters. I haven't actually done the math. Um, you can just level up evenly or just go into one. Actually, no. Going into one is not a good idea because if you don't put any points into this one, then you can't go into this one. So you actually want um, at least one point into each of them. That's it for the um, talent trees. For this one, I would say maybe they might rotate the units out. Because right now you can actually buy the uh, the crows, which is a little bit sus. Because buy if you can buy the crows, that means you can get more. You probably can get more copies of Yamato. And what happens if the this thing expires, right? What happens to your crows? If you can actually buy them, then would it be wasted? Because as you can see right here, there's a crow mark pack. So you might actually want to save this one because right now Izanagi is kind of shit um, Unless you get him R6 Like look at this, you can actually buy them 9,000 of them So we don't know what's gonna happen Maybe they'll, they'll rotate out this unit uh, And then put new espers in the future But yeah Maybe hold off your uh, currency Once you get to floor 60 And then level up your talent trees Do whatever 
make sure you level up this uh, pink ones as soon as you can because they give you a pretty good boost and then you get to the boss and this boss is completely pay to win no no questions about it you you need Mateo in order to compete in this content because Mateo I'll put a clip from the testing server His debuff, the spark debuff, whenever you proc it, it's going to add one stack of the locked on effect on the uh, on the boss. Which means if all of your units are built 100% crit rate, then every hit on your uh, ally is going to add one from the initial hit and then two from the spark. So each of your units is going to do at least two. And this is not in prisoner. Uh, Espers. If it's an Imprisoner Esper, each hit is going to do 3 stacks of Locked On. And that's what makes it pay to win. You need Mateo because his, his uh, Spark debuff adds so much to the Locked On counter. And yeah, it's you need him in order to get 0 stacks on the boss. So if you take a look at my team, I have my units extremely fast. Except for Yuntran. Yuntran has 107. She has 180 on Ocean Waves. She is one of those uh, Imprisoner Esper, that's why I brought her. And then my Li Guang has 180 with decent stats. And Lu Yi has 140 and Ahmed has 216. And let's just see how well this team does to reduce the, sta uh, the stacks of the boss, right? It is almost impossible to get it down to level 0. And you need it to level 0 because uh, once you can get it to level 0, your units actually does do more damage because as you can see right here, the King's Menace it starts off at I think level 4 um, and if you can't lower it to 0, he will do this attack, cast King's Menace when its level is not at 0, attacks target on the battlefield, damage equals to 300% of attack, reduces the enemy's defense throughout the combat, can't be resisted, damage amplified, damage is amplified and defense reduction is increased the higher the King's Menace current level is. So at level 3, this guy does 20k on a miss. So he does, he does 20k on a miss when you get this uh, thing at level 3 or 2 if I'm not mistaken. And then when you get, to, get it to level 0, which is possible only when you have Mateo, uh, this thing cast King's Menace when it's level as 0. This is cast Dusk. Not King's Man is, I guess. Clears all carried debuffs. Gains weakened. While weakened is in effect, becomes immune to blockade. When the effect expires, takes extra true damage once for every one hit taken during the effect. Extra damage equals to 1% of total damage taken during the weakened effect. And uh, that that is why you want to lower his uh, stacks, King's Man stacks to zero. Because you want to do this extra damage and you don't want him to nuke your team. There we go. My uh, uh, dude got nuked because there is no way for me to get this King's Menace to level 0 without a Mateo. So I'll just show you one more run where I'm, where I'm not talking and where you can actually see the run. So Ahmed did 8 of the lockdown effect because I have the talent tree where he has a chance to inflict one more of the uh, debuff. The rest of the units are not in prisoner so they won't do as many debuffs as, uh, as the imprisoner does. I would have hoped that Lu Yi was one of the imprisoners but he is not. Hall also isn't so their attacks is only going to do one. If Lu Yi was one of the imprisoners then it, it is a bit more free to play friendly because you can get Lu Yi from the shop uh, pretty easily. So if Lu Yi is one of the Imprisoners, his S1 is going to do 6 of the Imprisoner stacks and um, his S3 is going to do 18. Which is not even close to what Mateo can bring can bring you. And the boss is an Imprisoner. When he's using his S2, his uh, King's Man is at level 3. Yeah, I'm not even close at bringing it down to level 0. The closest I've gotten is level 2. That requires a lot of runs as well. Level 2, he doesn't nuke my DPS because he does, I think, 
close to 20k but there is a possibility that he still can one shot my dps this one i don't think i can manage to get to level 2 i need one more lockdown effect yeah i'm at 68 and it's already at the final attack which is going to do his king's menace attack oh maybe i might i'm at 85 93 no not enough yeah i was so close 98 and he nukes me almost nukes me okay my uh, Yunchuan is at 1 HP. Yeah, it's just extremely pay to win. You either have a Mateo or you don't compete at all. The score is inflated by Mateo. Mateo's spark debuff adds 1. Every time your ally crits, he's going to add 1 of the lockdown effect. So you can actually easily get to 0 stacks with a Mateo. Even when I built my unit super fast, I couldn't even get close to 0 stacks of the boss. If you take a look at the leaderboard right now, yeah, the score is super inflated. Um, we can't even get to EX++ for now. But this one, we can get it over time because right now it's only at phase 1. So when they unlock phase 2, maybe we can get another team and then EX++ shouldn't be that difficult. But for now, when, uh, when it comes to competing, like as you can see, this guy has a Mateo. Mateo. Everyone that goes over 4 mil is running a Mateo. Yeah, everything is a Mateo. Okay, this one doesn't have, but he's at 3.5 million. But he's, look at his resonance. R6, R6. Okay, and uh, yeah, the rest below 4 million is where you're gonna see. This guy has a Mateo, but he's not, I think he's not running. Yeah, he's running a very weird team. In short, you need Mateo for this event in order to... For now, in order to get EX++. Without a Mateo, it's impossible. I'm pretty sure I can say that it's, it's actually impossible to get EX++ for now without a Mateo. Uh, because, yeah, the, the locked on effect, Mateo just helps it way too much. This anniversary is kind of a letdown, to be honest. Mateo, for now, his use is only in this thingy and Fafnir and maybe in future bosses. But future bosses, there's any anything that can happen in future bosses. The bosses could be immune to debuffs, then Mateo can be useless there. Um, but yeah, for now, the anniversary, you either summon for Mateo or you don't compete or you get Tron Pin. And you can enjoy the anniversary or you don't get Trumpin and you get cocked. Very disappointed in the anniversary to be honest. I think that's about it. Ciao.